It's not of the execution. This is Virginia State Electric Chair. Time is 11 o'clock. The prisoner's brought in and strapped in the electric chair. Sergeant Dye here will explain how the man is buckled in and how he's wired for the execution. <clears throat> it made us wire, sit in, buckle in, secure in the chair. The first thing to be connected and put on will be the leg piece. The leg piece has spring action, is fitted firmly onto the inmate's leg. The cable is inserted and tightened with the wing nut, finger tight. Second step, the mask is inserted over the inmate's face, which covers his forehead, nose, and lips. Only thing that exposes his chin and lower half of his neck. The backrest has been adjusted so that you have a firm seat in the chair. Third step, the helmet is inserted on the inmate's head, also has spring action, which gives you a tight fit. The strap, chin strap is inserted around his chin and connected. At that point, the connecting cables are inserted, also finger tight. The final thing that is done, all the straps are checked to make sure that there's no slack and the belts are tight. Things to watch for. An inmate with a larger body build will take more average to kill him. He will smoke extremely due to the size of his bill. The smell is pertinent. Things to do, put Vaseline in your nostrils and you can use the Q-tip to get it out. Also, your clothes will have a smell in them and it is suggested that your clothes be soaked in water for two or three days before they are washed and you can reuse them again. This is a button I have pushed for four executions in the last four years. Red lights are on, contacts closed. If it was being an execution right now, I would be able to see the inmate slump him back in the chair. Blisters would be coming on his legs. Smoke would be coming from his body. Uh, this machine runs for 55 seconds. Uh, it'll kick off for five seconds and then kick on for 55 seconds. And the victim at the last 55 seconds should be dead. 